We are an independent not-for-profit. I guess we're energy specialists who provide market expertise and uh, knowledge to support the development and deployment of renewable energy technologies. And uh, we've done a lot of work over the years, over the last 14, 15 years, supporting the, uh, the marine energy sector. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased to be here today. Actually, this is about the fifth or sixth uh, annual event that I've been to. And especially uh, impressed and pleased to see the number of people here. And I think that the new format of Marine Energy Wales, uh, bringing together the guys at Marine Energy Pembrokeshire and up in Anglesey, actually works very well. So congratulations to everyone that organised the event and, uh, and congratulations to all you guys for, for being here. Uh, this is the third or the fourth session and uh, we'll be focusing on supply chain resilience, clusters and uh, innovation. So we've heard quite a lot today about economic benefits and how marine energy can drive the development of regional economies, uh, creating jobs and uh, yeah, developing skills. And we're going to delve into a little bit more detail around that and sort of explore the strategy that Wales has to establish itself in the vanguard of the marine energy sector. And, and I guess th that would mean, you know, joining the likes of Scotland and uh, uh, the southwest of England and other parts of Europe as well that have recognised the opportunity of using marine energy both to uh, deliver sustainable energy and also help the growth of, uh, of regional economies. Uh, and certainly the work that we've done in the southwest of England primarily, but also ar around the UK, uh, really does reinforce that message about the potential benefits and scale of opportunity that marine energy offers. And particularly that interface between technology development and innovation, between industry and research. And I must say, from my own personal point of view, I mean, working in an environment with new companies, an exciting supply chain, new technology development has been a great, uh, a great pleasure. And um, some of the teaching I do at universities as well, I mean, working with young people, getting away from the, the old men in suits, young people who are intelligent, uh, bright and gifted and, and completely ambitious is absolutely a, a great pleasure. Um, we would have liked to have got some of them to speak today, but unfortunately our panel is uh, mainly made up of men in suits, but uh, yeah, nevertheless, uh, yeah, I'm sure that we'll get some, uh, yeah, some great insight from the, from the panel itself. Um, so the focus is around, and this session is around, uh, uh, supply chain development, this concept of clusters where you can bring together industry, innovation, research. And I think very importantly, and I'm very pleased with Alec Don from um, Milford Haven Port is here to talk about physical infrastructure as well, because that's part of that overall cluster, and use that to generate uh, economic value and to really drive innovation ultimately in order to make this a successful industry. And we've seen that in, in the southwest of England, the work we've done with Wave Hub, uh, Plymouth, Falmouth, Bristol, uh, particularly Bristol Tide Energy Forum, the real importance of bringing together the various actors to make sure that we're actually working in concert and can leverage and apply the assets and resources that we have to a uh, uh, to to, to drive the industry forward to commercial development. Um, I think I'll stop there because we are a bit short on time and we'll move on to the first speaker we have. Um, he's a good friend of ours, uh, Ross Fairley, Head of Renewable Energy at Burgess Salmon, who's going to talk a little bit about the kind of options that we have for selling the energy and, uh, very importantly, how we can maybe leverage and, and drive additional value from the energy that's produced. So I'll hand over to Ross.